Hello classes. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how on um, the different ways you can save a project you're working on. So first, you know, we have the picture of the rock and I we met a few years ago, can't you tell? Um, and obviously this is a work in progress, but I want to point out a few things. One is um, I have four layers I'm working with. Um, only these two layers are visible and when um, it's highlighted over here that's the only thing I can work on so if I try and move my face it's not going to move because I'm only on the cop this layer if I click on this layer and highlights now I can move my face wherever I want it to okay so that aside and all I did was drag two pictures into Photoshop from my desktop and they um, are pasted in in layers and so um, that's how you can combine two photos pretty easily is just drag them I mean there's there's lots of ways but that's what we're gonna do for now so anyways to save this I'm going to go to file save there we go and I get kind of a bigger box than I um, used to because I have these options so this extension here PSD means I'm saving it as a Photoshop file so I can continue working on it if I click on Photoshop or the drop down over here you can see all these other different options I have if I were to want to post this on Padlet I'm just gonna save this as a JPEG a JPEG is a picture um, and it's not editable, it's not a Photoshop um, project. So when we're going to continue working on something, we're going to save it in Photoshop. When we're done, we can save it as a JPEG. Photoshop files are very large. So um, as soon as we finish a project, we want to save it as a JPEG to kind of save some of that space. So I'm still working on this, so I'm going to keep it as PSD. I'm going to change the name to Perez and the Rock and save it wherever I'd like. Most likely your Google Drive. That's my phone in the background. Sorry. So that's how you save in Photoshop. Bye-bye.